in August of this year, we lost lyricist Tom Jones. Uh, and we would love to honor his memory with representations of two of his shows tonight that did not come in. Uh, the first one chronologically was written with Harvey Schmidt, and it was a musical adaptation of Thornton Wilder's Our Town called Grover's Corners, which was supposed to be a musical comeback for Mary Martin. Now, due to a totally complex legal situation with the Wilder estate, the show has never been seen outside of its Chicago debut in 1987, and that's a shame because it's probably the most beautiful of their scores. And Alison Belenkoff will give us a sample of Grover's Corners in a minute, but first... The Other Show, written by Jones and Joseph Thawken, is the musical adaptation of the 1971 film Harold and Maude, which opened at the Paper Mill Playhouse in 2005. To tell us about, a bit about its author and sing a song from the show, please welcome to the stage as Harold, Bones' Eric Milligan, and as Maude, not Estelle Parsons, not her standby Joy Franz, but the third cover, our very own Michael Levine. <laughs> My best Estelle Parsons or, Joy, or uh, Ruth Gordon voice. You are getting so much work tonight, Michael. Congratulations. Last minute, what can I say? Thank you. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Good to be here. I live a block away. And it's really cool to just leave five minutes before, and here I am. Uh, being in Harold and Maude, which was 19 years ago, it was very odd to me. I'd never in like my life, even in my acting career, been like at the center of things, meaning like musical director, director, assistant director, hair, makeup, props, composer, lyricist, all here on opening night. And it's like, oh my gosh, like if I don't do something, this may not happen. So uh, it was very, very exciting. And Tom Jones, not, it's not unusual to be loved, not that Tom Jones. Tom Jones who wrote tr the lyrics to try to remember and soon it's gonna rain, came up to me to give me direction on opening night. So I just stopped my hands like like this and just listen and someone actually took a picture of that moment and I have it framed <laughs> Tom's the one with the white hair <laughs> so we're doing this song and um, at this point in the show Harold has um, executed all these fake suicides, like hanging himself, uh, done by flying by foy, is how we <laughs> hung myself. Um, and now he's talking to Maude about <laughs> maybe going for it for real. And he shows a revolver and he sings this song. Pretending that you've killed yourself is not as easy as it looks. You have to order special blanks from stage magician's books. I work so hard sometimes I wonder why go on and play when there is another much, much simpler way. The real thing that is easy, the real thing that is fast you simply move your finger and the future is the past the silence that surrounds you the silence is your friend you'd like to find the silence that will never end. You step out of the window. You watch the night slide by. You close your eyes and realize it simplifies to die. The real thing and it's over. The real thing. And goodbye. Someday I think I'd like to try. The real thing. I understand, Harold. I too have wanted to be dead. You have? 
a long time ago, I used to imagine that I was dead. I tried not to feel anything, not anything at all. I dreamt of how wonderful it would be to simply just let go. You step out of a window. You step out of a window. You watch the night slide by. You watch the night slide by. You close your eyes and realize it simplifies to die. The real thing. Then the darkness then it's over. will be the gone. Real thing. Then you take flight. And goodbye. Goodbye. And goodbye. And goodbye. Eric Milligan, everybody, and Michael Levine.